All right, welcome back to another edition of the It's Your Career Series Playbook Audio. Today, Academic Profile Code, APC. All officers should have their APC calculated as soon as possible after entering the Supply Corps. The Academic Profile Code is an internal academic index used in the initial evaluation of applicants for postgraduate education opportunities. The APC is a three-digit code that is calculated by Naval Postgraduate School Admissions. The APC summarizes pertinent portions of a student's prior academic performance. The three independent digits reflect an individual's cumulative grade point average, exposure to and performance in mathematics courses, and exposure to and performance in selected science and engineering areas. Much like golf, the lower the score, the better. Only graded coursework taken at accredited institutions will be used in the academic profile code calculation. For U.S. Naval officers, each digit of the academic profile code can be waived. For further information on how to do this, consult your detailer after your APC is calculated and reflected in your record. Officers must complete the application process on the Naval Postgraduate School website, www.nps.edu, at the nps.edu backslash admissions backslash AMS, as in Alpha Mike Sierra, and submit sealed official transcripts to Naval Postgraduate School in order to have their APC calculated. Academic Profile Code, first digit. The first digit indicates overall academic performance based on a recalculated GPA from all previous collegiate transcripts. The first digit is derived from the following table, and they've got codes here from 0 to 5 with a QPR range. The code 0 is a 3.6 to 4.0, going all the way down to a 5, which is a 0.0 to a 1.9. So visit the table to see more. To give you a midpoint, code 3 for the first digit is a GPA range from 2.20 to 2.59. A first digit code of 0, 1, 2, or 3 as appropriate will be assigned only if provided transcripts exhibit at least 75 semester hours or 112 quarter hours of actual graded classroom instruction. Grades of pass, fail, credit, no credit will not count toward the 75, 112 hour requirement. Uh, Here's an asterisk. Failures and repeated courses are included in the GPA calculation. APC second digit represents mathematical background according to the following criteria. Code zero means math, major, minor, quantitative economics degree with a B or better average, math taken less than or equal to seven years ago, math major or strong math major. Code one, lower level, upper level, linear algebra with a GPA of at least a 3.5, math taken less than or equal to five years ago. Code two, lower level, upper level with average between C plus and B plus, Math taken less than or equal to five years ago, no linear algebra. Code three, lower level calculus sequence with a C or better, or if math taken greater than five years ago. Code four, calculus for business social sciences with a C or better. One lower level calculus course with at least a C minus. Two pre-calculus courses with a B plus or better. Code five, at least one pre-calculus with C minus or better grade. And code six, no pertinent college level math with a grade of C minus or better. All math courses from calculus through post-calculus are considered when evaluating the transcripts for the second digit. A minimum calculus sequence is calculus 1 and 2.
APC third digit represents previous course coverage in science and technical fields according to the following criteria. Code 0, 3.0 to 4.0 GPA, meaning ABET, EAC accredited, Bachelor of Science Engineering degree, regardless of time passed. Code 1, greater than 2.3 GPA, meaning non-ABET, EAC accredited engineering degree, regardless of time passed. Code 2, greater than or equal to 2.30, any Bachelor of Science technical degree, regardless of time passed. Code 3, greater than or equal to 3.0 GPA, with completed calculus-based physics sequence with a B average or above. Code 4, greater than 2.0 GPA, and one calculus-based physics course with at least a C. Code 5, less than 1.99, with no pertinent technical courses. Engineering degrees include Aero, Astro, Computer, Electronics, Mechanical, Material, Marine, Naval, Ocean Systems, Industrial, Chemical, Bioengineering, and Naval Architecture. This list is not exhaustive. Technical degrees include Applied, applied Physics, Engineering Physics, and Physics. General Engineering and Electrical Engineering, Mechanical Engineering Technology degrees are neither counted as engineering degrees nor as technical degrees for purposes of calculating an APC. When calculating the APC, if the record cannot meet all the requirements to obtain code zero, in effect, GPA is 2.75, but all other requirements are met, the code automatically drops to a 1, but no further. Example, an APC of 221 indicates a total grade point average for all college courses in the interval 2.6 to 3.19, a complete sequence in calculus with an average between C plus and B, and a major in physics or pertinent engineering area with upper division courses with an average between C plus and B. For questions regarding your academic profile code or how to improve your academic profile code, Naval Postgraduate School Admissions can be contacted through the following email address, admissions at nps.edu. Navy Supply Corps School, NSCS. Commissioned Naval officers that enter the Supply Corps will attend the Naval Supply Corps School in Newport, Rhode Island before their first operational duty assignment. The mission of NSCS is to provide students with the personal and professional foundations for success. NSCS offers Supply Corps officers, DOD, and international logisticians a continuum of personal and professional development to successfully support the Navy and the Joint Warfighter. The Supply Corps Officer Basic Qualification Course, BQC, is designed to prepare Supply Corps officers to successfully fulfill their initial operational tours. Whether the individual is a newly commissioned ensign or a more senior officer transferring into the Supply Corps, all must attend the BQC. Additionally, Supply Corps officers can expect to return to NSCS at points throughout their career for follow-on training. For more information or to see other classes offered at NSCS, there's a link that you can click in the playbook. Examples Gavin Sodic and JASMMM. Uh, follow NSCS on Facebook, United, United States Navy Supply Corps School. Postgraduate Opportunities. Postgraduate Education Screen. Selection for postgraduate PG education programs is accomplished through an administrative screening board. This board is announced annually in a flash message from the Chief of the Supply Corps. 8 811 program screening, screening is conducted prior to other postgraduate school screening, NPS and Intermediate Service Colleges, ISC. Officers desiring 8 811 screening must submit a formal package to the board and meet the following eligibility requirements. Complete a one operational tour, that is a 928, 92A, 929 AQD in the record. Warfare qualification, academic profile code of 345 or better, that's ODC Block 47, waivers are accepted, and a GMAT GRE score report. Packages should be uploaded electronically via the Electronic Submission Selection Board documents, ESSBD link at Bupers Online, and also emailed to the Supply Corps Career Counselor at Supply Corps Career Counselor at Navy.mil. That submission of a package will initiate screening for 810811 at the next available board. Do not list these course curriculum codes as postgraduate preferences in Block 94 of your ODC. NPS and ISC screening is automatic for officers based on applicable year groups. Each officer will receive three looks or screening opportunities. The screening board reviews officer OSRs and PSRs. Remember, those are officer summary records and performance summary records, which do not list postgraduate preferences. PG preferences are listed on your officer data card. The board selects officers for a postgraduate opportunity based on demonstrated sustained superior performance. OP then slates the select officers to a program in accordance with the needs of the Navy, needs of the Supply Corps, and member preferences listed on the ODC Block 94. Eligibility requirements are as follows. APC of 345 or better, ODC Block 47, waivers accepted, 
postgraduate school preferences, ODC Block 94, completed one operational tour, again, 928, 92A, 929 AQD, warfare qualification, and have not declined an opportunity. Officers designing selection who do not meet the minimum academic profile code requirement should should reach out to the Supply Corps Career Counselor to discuss waiver eligibility. Officers declining the opportunity to be screened should notify the Supply Corps Career Counselor via email and request postgraduate preference code 975 in their record. Naval Postgraduate School. Located in Monterey, California, the mission of NPS is to provide high-quality, relevant, and unique advanced education and research programs that increase the combat effectiveness of the Naval Services, other armed forces of the U.S., and our partners to enhance our national security. Supply Corps officers seeking postgraduate education are eligible to participate in several Masters of Business Administration programs offered through the Graduate School of Defense Management. The curricular course numbers for these MBA programs are 815, 819, 837, and 870. The Graduate School of Operational Information Sciences, GSOIS, offers a Master's of Science degree program with curriculum course number 361. Across these NPS master's programs, officers complete joint professional military education phase one on site while enrolled. And you actually do that at the Naval War College um, satellite site there in Monterey. NPS General Curriculum Information and Descriptions. Operations Research Logistics Analysis, number 341, excuse me, number 361. Length is 27 months. Convening dates in winter and summer. Minimum APC of 325 and a subspecialty code assigned of 3212P. Acquisition and Contract Management, number 815. Length is 18 months. Convenes in winter and summer. Minimum APC is 345 with a subspecialty code of 1306P. Supply Chain Management, curriculum number 819. Length is 18 months. Winter, summer, convening dates. Minimum APC of 345, and a subsidiary code of 1302P. And financial management, curriculum number 837, length is 18 months, winter, summer, convening dates. Minimum APC of 345, and a subsidiary code of 3110 PAPA. And lastly, which is my personal favorite because it's what I experienced, curriculum title, information management, number 870, length 18 months. Convenes in the summer, it's a minimum APC of 345, and it's a subspecialty code of 1309P. There's a click, there's a link to click for more information at the top of page 9 in this It's Your Education playbook. Contact the postgraduate school detailer if you're interested in Naval Postgraduate School. Civilian Institutions Programs, CIVINS, C-I-V-I-N-S. The NPS Managed CIVINS program support the Navy's subspecialty system by enabling and supporting full-time, fully funded graduate education and curricula not available at Naval Postgraduate School. Each spring, the Supply Corps Postgraduate Education screen is held to select officers for a CIVINS program under two different Supply Corps Supply Acquisition and Distribution Management curricula, 810 and 811. Guidance and eligibility requirements are provided via an annual flash from the chief. Officers in the 810 and programs are encouraged to complete JPME Phase 1 via distance learning, while enrolled in school, inquiries should be directed to the Supply Corps Career Counselor. Curriculum title, Civilian MBA Program, 810, 22 months in length, convenes in August, minimum APC of 345, and a subsidiary code of 1301 PAPA is awarded. The curriculum title, Petroleum Management, is number 811, length is 22 months, convenes in August, minimum APC of 323, with a subsidiary code assigned of 1307 PAPA. The Masters of Business Administration 810 Bloomberg Business Week Top 30. Supply Corps officers selected for 810 attend a Top 30 full-time master's degree program in business administration and are awarded the 1301 piece of specialty code, Supply Acquisition and Distribution Management, upon graduation. Officers should be aware of the admissions benchmarks, GMAT, GPA, work experience, etc. at various schools prior to applying for admission. Officers graduating from this program are expected to have an understanding of the operating processes, concepts of the private sector, and the ability to apply these processes and concepts in a military environment. During the summer between their first and second year of postgraduate study, students shall perform an internship to apply the skills learned during their MBA program. Petroleum Management 811, the University of Kansas. Supply Corps officers selected for 811 attend the University of Kansas Graduate School of Business full-time. Graduates earn an MBA certificate in petroleum management from the School of Engineering 
and a 1307 Papa subspecialty that allows them to fill billets requiring petroleum management expertise in either the Navy or Defense Logistics Agency. And there's a link on page nine to click for additional information. Intermediate Service Colleges. Lieutenant and Lieutenant Commanders are eligible to attend one of the Armed Forces Intermediate Level Service Colleges. These programs develop mid-grade officers for greater responsibilities through advanced military education. Each program is unique and eligibility criteria vary by school. Completion of each program earns you JPME Phase 1 credit. And a list of curriculums are Air Force Command and Staff College, Army Command and Staff College, Marine Corps Command and Staff College, College of Naval Command and Staff, Naval War College, and MAWS. So each of these are about a year in length and all convene in summer with the exception of College of Naval Command and Staff College Naval War College. It also convenes in winter, um, and they're spread around the country from Montgomery, Alabama to Leavenworth, Kansas to Quantico, Virginia to Newport, Rhode Island. The Air Force Command and Staff College is located in Montgomery, Alabama, ACSC, part of Air University. It focuses on preparing the world's best joint strategic leaders through air, space, and cyber space education. Students learn the profession of arms, air power history, international security, the requisites of command, the nature of war and the application of airspace and cyberspace power at the operational level of war through nine major courses. Graduates earn a Master of Military Operational Art and Science degree. Army Command General Staff College, CGSC, located in Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. CGSC's goal is to provide career officers with a larger context of unified action, multi-service, interagency, and multinational operations. Additionally, prominent local colleges have created numerous cohort programs tailored to meet the schedule needs of CGSC students. Master's programs range from business administration, management and human resources to information management and qualify for Navy tuition assistance. Marine Corps Command and Staff College, CSC. Located in Quantico, Virginia, CSC, part of Marine Corps University, trains joint multinational and interagency professionals to overcome diverse 21st century security challenges. Curriculum consists of warfighting from the sea, cultural and interagency operations, and a leadership course. Graduates earn a master's of Military Studies. College of Naval Command and Staff, CNCS. Located in Newport, Rhode Island, students pursue studies in each of the Naval War College's three core subject areas, Strategy and Policy, Joint Maritime Operations, and National Security Decision Making. Graduates earn a Master of Arts, National Security, and Strategic Studies. Maritime Advanced Warfighting School, MAWS, MAWS for short. Located in Newport, Rhode Island, MAWS is a resident program completed in conjunction with the College of Naval Command and Staff Curriculum. The purpose of the course is to develop strategic and operational leaders with the skills required to plan, execute, and assess combined joint and naval operations. Graduates earn a Master's of Arts, National Security and Strategic Studies, JP1 AQD, and JPME Phase 1 credit. Senior level opportunities, senior service colleges. Captains, commanders, and officers selected for commander are eligible to attend one of the Armed Forces Senior Service Colleges, often referred to as War College. These programs develop senior officers for greater responsibilities through advanced military education. Each program is unique and eligibility criteria varies by school. Completion of each program earns you Joint Professional Military Education Phase 2 credit. Air War College, located in Montgomery, Alabama. This U.S. Air Force program, as part of Air University, develops senior leaders to serve as cr critical and strategic thinkers, able to serve as now security senior leaders. Graduates earn a Master of Strategic Studies degree. Army War College. Located in Carl Barracks, Pennsylvania, U.S. Army War College is the Army's ultimate professional development institution that develops strategic leaders by providing a strong foundation of wisdom, grounded in mastery of the profession of arms, and by educating future leaders in the theory and practice of strategy, operations, National Security, Resource Management, and Responsible Command. Graduates earn a Master's of Strategic Studies degree. Marine Corps War College. Located in Quantico, Virginia, the Marine Corps War College prepares selected officers and civilians for decision-making across a range of military operations in joint, interagency, and multinational environments. Marine Corps War College educates selected military and civilian professionals in order to develop critical thinkers, 
military strategists, joint warfighters, and strategic leaders who are prepared to meet the challenges of a complex and dynamic security environment. Graduates earn a Master's of Strategic Studies degree. Naval War College, College of Naval Warfare. Located in Newport, Rhode Island, students pursue studies in each of the Naval War College's four core subject areas, national security decision-making, strategy and policy, joint military operations, and leadership in the profession of arms. Graduates earn a Master of National Security and Strategic Studies degree. The Eisenhower School. Located in Washington, D.C., the Eisenhower School, part of the National Defense University, develops select rising senior government, military personnel, and industry executives through a rigorous curriculum designed to promote the development of students as strategic thinkers and national security policymakers. The academic program includes courses in national security studies, economics, defense strategy and resourcing, acquisition, the global industrial base, and strategic leadership. Graduates earn a Master of Science in National Resource Strategy. And side note, I actually graduated from there in 2020. Um, I was in the Global Supply Chain and Logistics Strategy um, curriculum, as well as the Energy Industry Study. So if you got questions about the Eisenhower School, reach out. If you got questions about these other schools too, um, I know some people that graduated from there. I can I can link you up. Uh, National War College, located in Washington D.C., the National War College is also part of the National Defense University. The mission of the National War College is to educate future leaders of the armed forces, State Department, and other civilian agencies for high-level policy, command, and staff responsibilities. To do this, the Naval War College conducts a senior-level course of study in national security policy and strategy for selected U.S. and foreign military officers and federal officials. The curriculum emphasizes the joint and interagency perspective and graduates earn a Master's of National Security Strategy. Joint Advanced Warfighting School, JAWS. Located in Norfolk, Virginia, JAWS, part of the Joint Forces Staff College, produces graduates who can create campaign quality concepts, plan for the employment of all elements of national power, accelerate transformation, succeed as joint force operational strategic planners, and be creative, conceptual, adaptive, and innovative. JAWS is envisioned to populate the joint staff and combatant commands with officers expert in the joint planning processes and capable of critical analysis in the application of all aspects of national power across the full range of military operations. Graduates earn a Master's of Science degree in joint campaign planning and strategy. Lastly, Executive Development Program, EDP. The Supply Corps affords senior officers with an opportunity to participate in comprehensive senior-level executive development and enrichment experience at some of the nation's top-rated government and civilian institutions. Captains and captain selects, with less than three years' time in grade, 3100 and 3107 designators, are eligible to participate in the Supply Corps Executive Development Program. All education and travel costs are funded centrally through NAFSUP. Officers may only participate in the Executive Development Program once in a career. NAFSUP Instruction 1520.6 Charlie applies. Other Opportunities and Information The Olmstead Scholar Program Each year, the Olmstead Scholar Program offers educational grants for two years of graduate study in a foreign language and other educational experiences in a foreign country to competitively selected career line and staff officers from the four branches of the U.S. military. The foundation has the goal of selecting the most highly qualified officers from the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps annually, with the number of scholars selected based on the foundation's financial ability to support them and the available pool of qualified candidates. Olmstead Scholar Candidate finalists are selected by screening boards with their respective service, with final selection of scholars, and the designation of their location for overseas study being made at the spring meeting, usually in March or April, of the Board of Directors of the Foundation. Olmstead scholars enroll as full-time students and study in the language of their host country while interacting with the residents of the countries in which they are living. They are expected to live on the economies of their host countries, travel widely, and be connected to U.S. embassies and consulates for necessary force protection and administrative purposes only. Olmstead scholarship application is announced yearly in a NAV admin. OpNav instruction 1520.24 Delta applies. Joint Professional Military Education, JPME. For Title X, Joint Professional Military Education must be completed in sequence, Phase one followed by Phase two. Accordingly, it is advisable that you begin your joint education as soon as possible. You may enroll through distance learning at the Naval War College as a lieutenant or other junior service colleges as a lieutenant commander. JPME Phase two is available at National Defense University's Joint Forces Staff College, Joint Advanced Warfighting School, the Eisenhower School, and National War College, and all of the senior service colleges. These are all in-resident courses, but be forewarned because of Title X requirements, the NDUs may incur a joint tour obligation upon graduation. If you're interested in attending, contact your detailer. For more information on JPME opportunities, 
visit PERS 45J on the Mon Navy HR website. Navy Tuition Assistance. Tuition Assistance, TA, is the Navy's Educational Financial Assistance Program. It provides active duty personnel funding for tuition costs for courses taken in an off-duty status at a college, university, or vocational technical institution whose regional or national accreditation is recognized by the Department of Education. TA will not fund a degree at the same lateral level. Then there's two links here for Navy TA and a list of approved accrediting agencies. And lastly, Naval Postgraduate School Distance Learning Programs. NPS offers many 24-month part-time distance learning degree programs with multiple delivery method offerings. You can click on any of these four links for information on the Master's of Systems Analysis Program. Students earn the 3210 PAPA subspecialty code, the Master's of Science in Contract Management MSCM program, the degree satisfies the WIA Level 1, 2, and 3 Functional Core Contracting Course Requirements. Uh, the Master of Science in Program Management Program, MSPM. The degree satisfies the WIA Level 2 Functional Core Program Management Course Requirements. And lastly, the Low Residency Graduate Education Program. Students earn a 2000P subspecialty code. So that does it for the It's Your Education playbook. And I would encourage you to, to reach out to me early um, with respect to planning your attendance in any of these junior war college or senior war college opportunities because uh, it's not things you can just turn to on a dime. You need to be looking at this stuff, you know, years in advance. You know, planning three tours ahead is is what uh, one of my CEOs told me, and I agree with that. So reach out. Let's talk about it. See where you want to go, what you want to do. Uh, but don't don't let academics get in the way of your education either, right? Everything we talked about here was all in academics, um, and our education is much broader than that. So to your liberty, we'll see you next time.